maintaining proactive physical and prudent monetary policy. And that was among the key messages from the just concluded Central Economic Work Conference. So what do these messages mean and who are the beneficiaries? Officials from China's economic and financial regulators as well as some experts gathered at the annual economic forum in Beijing to go over what is in store for China's economy in 2019. Our reporter Wang Mengjun has more. For insiders, the Central Economic Work Conference defines the development stage of Chinese economy amid increasing uncertainties. Whether China is still in the period of strategic opportunity and how to seize opportunities has become the big concern for decision makers in the Central Committee. This economic work conference gives us the answer that China is still in the strategic development process and will be in such a critical period for a long time. Cutting taxes and fees on a bigger scale, enhancing counter-cyclical adjustment. Insiders say they are meant to enlarge the role of microeconomic regulation. Structural policies require us to deepen reforms in areas like the state-owned enterprises to create an environment of fair competition and encourage small and medium-sized enterprises to grow faster. Meanwhile, we should enhance our social security policies. And one consensus regulators have reached here is that innovation needs to be enhanced in an open manner. By relying more on improving the investment environment, we could attract more high-quality foreign investment. Meanwhile, we should enhance cooperation in the areas of smart manufacturing, the industrial internet, cybersecurity, and civil aviation under Belt and Road Initiative. Now some of our key core technologies are facing some bottlenecks. It is painful in the short term, but this is not entirely a bad thing. It forces us to be determined and launch more independent innovation. But innovation is not closed. It needs to gradually push ahead with openness. Chinese regulators estimate the world's second largest economy could realize its annual GDP growth target of 6.5 percent as the year 2018 is coming to an end, with a per capita GDP approaching 10,000 U.S. dollars. While acknowledging the pressure from an economic downturn and the complexity in a global economy, insiders attending this forum are still optimistic as they think the Central Economic Work Conference has given enough room for the country to fine-tune its economic policies in the coming year. Wang Mengjun, CGTN, Beijing.